What is going on, Team Acne? I just had a thought. I just got back from the workout, by the way, so uh, forgive me for my ragged look and my hair being all up in a crazy bun and stuff, but I'm about to eat some Chipotle right now. I'm about to have a big burrito. And a lot of times you guys ask me, uh, can I eat this food? Will this food break me out? Will that food break me out? And I have to, I, I wanna put out an important message because you guys have already heard a lot of the things that I've said. There are some unequivocal facts, like, you know, dairy does cause an increase in mTOR in everybody. It's been scientifically proven. Uh, you know, vegetables, obviously, are great for you. Uh, eating whole foods are great for you. Processed foods are not great for your acne. You know, having your gut have a better, uh, you know, microbiome in it because you're eating better foods. All that stuff is very important and cannot be, uh, you know, denied. Now, what I actually want to talk to you guys about in this video, in a short, really quick message, is just that Everybody has a different makeup, genetically. So everybody reacts differently to foods. You already know this, so hold on, I got more to say here. But I wanna say something else that's very interesting is not only do we have different uh, makeups where some people, for example, will, uh, you know, they'll have a lot of trouble with spicy foods. Some people will break out from spicy foods. Some people will break out more or less than other people from gluten or they just won't be able to handle it. And the same goes with anything, you know, like soy. Some people are allergic to it. Some people are allergic to this, that, the other, more or less. The thing that I think is very interesting is that with each person though, you actually can evolve and the things that you know do or don't agree with you now can change in the future. So what am I saying right now? Can I tie this up into something that makes a little bit of sense by relating it to myself? Well, when I was going through my worst of acne and I was, you know, violating a lot of the things that I shouldn't have been doing, like, you know, having tons of dairy and I was eating lots and lots and lots of processed, like protein bars and stuff. I wasn't cooking a lot for myself, eating a lot of microwave foods. When I was breaking out the most, I had cysts all in my face and all the whiteheads and stuff. I would see a bigger interruption in my skin from small things. So when I was uh, taking in, for example, pre-workouts and creatine, I would see breakouts when I was back then and now I don't. Um, for example, I would, I would see more irritation when I was shaving my skin even, for example, than I do now. Um, the same thing with like artificial sweeteners like uh, Diet Cokes and Diet Mountain Dews, Diet Sodas and things like that, Splenda, I was having lots of Splenda and stuff, things like that. All of these things that used to break me out more, now I can get away with a lot more. I believe it's because not only do you, does your body evolve, I've got chickens, so I'm gonna walk away from them. Uh, not only does your body evolve and the way that your body reacts to different types of things that you're intaking changes, that is a true thing. And so when you are trying to figure out what causes you a breakout, it's very important to do elimination diets so you can see like, oh, this causes more breakouts than that for me. Uh, I should stay away from this. Whereas other people can have lots of this. Like for example, some people can have a lot of alcohol and never break out. Some people have a little bit of alcohol and immediately the next day have a lot of pimples. That's me. And now, since it's been, you know, seven years or so since I was like really severely breaking out. Now, if I have a little bit more uh, alcohol, I break out less, I still break out, I still get a little bit of um, pimples, I get more oily for sure, but now I break out less. So you have to keep that in mind that your body does evolve and you have to continue checking um, how your body is reacting to things. Things that in the past didn't break you out at all, they can start to break you out. So it never do you have like the finite version of this breaks me out, that doesn't break me out. We always have to keep in mind that it is dynamic and moving. The other thing I do wanna mention is that I've heard, I think you've heard me say this a few times before, but as you get farther along in your journey and as you do more things that are good for you, more healthy things, you, you eat more whole foods, you have more vegetables, all the, uh, all the good things, as you start to break out less, you do get to get away with more, if that makes sense. So basically, without going too far into the science and stuff, uh, when, you're eating, when you're eating certain things like high sugar diets, high calorie diets, high alcohol diets, high dairy, high meat diets, your mTORC in your body is increased and when your mTORC is increased, you also increase the amount of oil that you produce, sebum oil on your face and that increases the amount of acne you have. So when you start taking out some of those violations, you have more leeway until you hit that line that your body starts breaking out heavily and having cysts and big pimples pop up. So if, for example, you used to eat tons of processed foods, tons of protein bars, only microwave food, tons of chips, and just like 
you know, packaged foods and you never ate any whole foods. And now over the course of two years, you eat mostly whole foods. You don't really eat out that often. You don't eat fast food. You don't eat all those things I just mentioned. Now you can get away with a little bit more. You might not see as much of a breakout after drinking alcohol. You might not see as much of a breakout after, uh, for example, maybe not cleaning your sheets or whatever else it is that, that used to break you out. This is just something I wanted to mention real quick because people always ask me like, hey, can I have a burrito? Can I have breads? Can I have this? Can I have that? And it's hard for me to tell you exactly what you can or can't have because everyone's on a different part of their journey. Back in the day, eating things like Chipotle, like having a ton of, um, you know, I guess processed food because this has like two tortillas wrapped around it and whatever else you're going to put in there. That would probably cause a lot more acne for me and for probably a lot of you guys. Whereas now when I eat this kind of a thing, I don't see that much of a, uh, a result afterwards in my acne. I do still break out though, so it's not like I'm able to do whatever I want to, but it's just something interesting I was thinking because a lot of people think you can't eat things like this, but there is a point where in the future you can. Or even right now, if you figure out what does and doesn't break you out and you start to get away from those things that do break you out, you can get away with more of the things uh, that you do break out from that you want to do, you want you want to add in, in small amounts into your diet. I hope all that made sense. I'm a little hyped up. I just want to come on here and make this video real quick. Future videos will be more concise, but I thought this was a good message. I love you guys. Go have a burrito. Enjoy your life. I love you. You're amazing. You're not alone. You're beautiful. Team Acne.